today we're going to be going over needles and thread for sewing lingerie. So you've got your fabric, you've got your elastic, you know which elastics to use where, and if you're a good seamstress or sewist, then you have read the directions um, and know what to do, step one, step two, step three, step four. If you're a sewist like me, you're probably like, I'll figure it out along the way. Um, and you've got your pattern cut out and you sit down to your sewing machine and you think, oh shit, do I need special needles and thread for this? Um, heck yeah, you definitely do. So I am here today to tell you the different types of needles and the different types of thread that I use and how I use them or what applications I use them for. So the first thing that we're gonna go over, number one, is um, needles. And in order for you to know what type of needle to use, you need to understand um, the different types, because yes, there are different types, but then what makes them different? Um, that'll give you a better understanding of why you're using different needles for different applications. So, um, different, and I also want to uh, clarify that these machine needles are different than hand sewing needles, completely different. So don't go to the hand sewing uh, needle section and be like, where's the ballpoint needle? Um, definitely needles for a sewing machine. So. Different, there are different needles, denim needle, embroidery needle, universal needle, ballpoint needle, stretch needle. There are tons of different types of needles. And what makes them different is the type of scarf that they have. Now you're probably thinking, what the bejesus is a scarf? Um, so basically it is an indentation on the lower backside of the needle. And I'm gonna have a blog post. I pulled an image, thank goodness for Google. Um, I pulled an image with uh, what different scars for different types of needles are, because even if I tried to you know, give it, get it really close up, you still wouldn't see it. So I'm gonna say this really slowly, because um, it can get confusing. So different types of scarves are designed for different types of fabric. And it allows the needle or the bobbin case to grab the thread underneath the throw plate and create a proper stitch. So if you don't have the right scarf or the right needle for the right fabric, you're gonna get skip stitches or your fabric is going to snag. So there are certain needles for uh, lingerie fabrics. And by lingerie fabrics, I mean stretch lace, stretch mesh, power net. So a lot of the fabrics that I use have spandex or lycra in it. So the three main needles that I use are ballpoint, stretch, and universal. So first I'm going to go over stretch. So stretch needles are usually used for stretchy fabrics. Um, and that is, again, stretch lace, stretch mesh, um, lycra, bathing suit materials, all that good stuff. And I usually use a size 70 um, or 10 most of the time. Sometimes I go to eight, um, depending on the thinness or thickness of the fabric. Um, power net, I usually use like a 12 or 14. So the other type of needle for stretch fabrics is a microtex needle. So microtex are sharp needle. Um, and even though stretch needle and microtex needles are for stretchy fabrics, I have more luck, or not luck, it's not really luck, but I have better results when I use microtex. Um, a lot of times, Amazon won't have the Microtex or Joanne's Hobby Lobby won't have the Microtex. And I will resort to the stretch needles, but my preferred is Microtex. I use um, size 10, size 12, most of the time for stretch meshes, stretch laces, all that good stuff, or one ply, two ply fabrics. Ply means layers. Um, power knit sometimes has a sewing machine to have a mind of its own. Um, and sometimes my machine does not like power net. Um, so in those cases, I usually have to use, go up to a size 14 or 16. Now, universal needle, um, most sewists use universal needles are for wovens and some stretchy knits. Um, I use universal when sewing underwire channeling or hooks and eyes. Um, now, usually when you're sewing hooks and eyes and channeling, you're at the end of a sewing project. And listen, 
there are times when I'm like, I just want to get through the project. I don't want to switch out the needles. It's okay. Um, I have definitely sewn those two um, with stretch or bulb or stretch or microtex needles. So definitely, but the proper way is to change your needle. Um, so I have them here too. So it's like, so there are uh, two brands that most sewists use. Um, there is Schmetz, which I don't even think if I, oh, I'm holding it upside down. Even if I got, yeah, Schmetz Universal and Schmetz Microtex. Um, there's also organ needle. So it's like Coke versus Pepsi. Some people love organ needles. They only sew with organ needles. And some people like Schmitz. So, and some people like both. Um, now I'm a brand ambassador for FAF. So um, they, and I know Bernina is the same way too. They actually have their own brand of needles. So I can use Schmitz, but I have more or better um, luck with uh, their brand of needles, which is Inspira. Um, so those are needles, um, which by the way, I have a, I love Amazon. So for all you Amazon shoppers, I have a list, a bra making, Madeline's bra making list on Amazon, where you can purchase all the supplies in one stop shop. Um, so that will be in the blog post. Okay, so now let's go on to thread. Um, so because you definitely need thread. So the first kind that I use, I have spools like this because I sew a lot, um, but it's polyester, just plain polyester thread. I have this one, which is just basically more of this. Um, so put briefly, Polyester thread gives, cotton thread doesn't. Um, so you want your, because lingerie fabric stretch, you want thread that's going to stretch with it. Um, uh, polyester really doesn't stretch, but it has a give to it. I know a lot of people think that there's lycra in their polyester thread, but there's not. Um, there's no spandex in here. Um, so the other type of fabric, or uh, thread that I use is Superior Threads Bottom Line Thread, which if you have taken a workshop, a class, a one-on-one, -on -one, whatever, you know that I use this so much. Um, so Superior Threads Bottom Line Thread. Um, I use color number 623, which is on the Amazon list. So sewers, you probably know of Gertie. Um, Gertie's home sewing and she did a great post god it was like a long time ago about using gray thread as a neutral so if you're in a pinch you don't have white thread to match your white fabric or you don't have light pink thread to match your light pink fabric you can use gray as a neutral and it'll blend in so the same thing with superior threads bottom line thread it is supposedly an invisible thread um, I use this a lot because I will sew white lace, blush pink lace, nude beige lace, and I can use this on all the fabrics and I won't have to change um, thread or bobbin. So it kind of helps me speed up my time, I would say. Um, and it is pretty invisible. So it sinks into the, into the fabric really well. So if you don't, if you kind of want a clean look with no top stitching, um, you can use that. And the last type of thread that I use is woolly nylon. So this is, I'm not sure if you can see this. Mm -mm, no, you can't. Um, but this is a really soft, um, if you see it, it's like plush. So thread is like a single strand where this is kind of like plush and soft. You gotta see it in person to get it. Um, and this is used a lot. I use this in the lower loopers of my serger. And the reason being is that on the Barrett Bralette, on the Madeline Simplicity H29, there is a vertical seam going right over the apex, nipple, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and a lot of women, and it's usually sewn with a straight stitch and there's a little bit of tension there because there's a seam and a lot of women will get chafing uh, from the just polyester thread. Um, so this is a little bit softer. It gives more coverage, it's softer, um, and it also looks really nice on the inside. So this is, I highly suggest it. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than regular thread, but um, well worth it. 
So those are my, um, those are the needles and the thread that I use. So you def, when you sit down, and this is one of those things where like when you sit down and you've, and you've gotten everything together, you sit down you're like, oh shit, I don't have the right needles or thread. Go out and get the right needles and thread. Do not try to sew your project with the wrong tools. Um, that's like trying to cook chili that's supposed to be made in a crock pot in like a saute pan. No, it ain't gonna work. So get yourself the right tools. Log on to Madeline's Bra Making List on Amazon. Get yourself the right tools um, and make a good garment.